Stockport County suffered defeat against Barrow, but before that they were on a six game unbeaten run. Dongster Rovers have lost two on their balance, but before that had three wins and three clean sheets in a row. Who will go back to winning ways? It's Cal Noel coming back to face Dongster Rovers at Edgley Park as Stockport County take on Dongster Rovers in Skybet League 2 action. Mean that badge to you, Donny boys. Let's do this. Stockport County first joined the Football League in 1900, but had to seek re-election in 1904. Over 120 years later, this season's their first season back in the Football League in around a decade. And Stockport County are looking good this season in the battle for third place and an automatic spot into next season's Division 3, League 1. For me, I've been following them for years and years, so it's been really, really exciting. I believe we've done really better than what I expected. Middling of the league would have done us. Um, we've had a few stutters early on, but we're coming back. I'm hoping 2 0, but a few of my friends have been saying that we're going to get turned over because of what, what you're fighting for. Wow. So we'll have to see, won't well, we? You never know with football, that's why I love it. Yeah. You never know. One all. So we're here with Dan, who's one of the admins of the supporters group for Stockport County on Facebook. Dan, thank you very much for taking the time out to speak to us before the game today. After coming up, uh, I think we were made favourites to go straight up and win the league. Uh, obviously after the first few games I think realisation hit and uh, the, uh, the fact that that was going to be a lot tougher task than uh, the first suggested but um, obviously the last few games we're on our way up now and uh, yeah long may continue. A tough one really obviously after a really disappointing performance last time out um, but I honestly believe we'll be, we'll be back to uh, to our bouncing ways again and I can see it being a uh, stop up three Doncaster. Been a dream, been absolutely brilliant. It really has. If, um, just got better and better as the season's gone on. Been a bit of a slip um, last game. Back on track today, hopefully. I'm going to go 2 1. I think um, I think they'll score, but I think we've just got too much up front. I think we're going to win 2 1. It's about time we uh, won here. It'd be a hard game, full house, great atmosphere, great backing from Johnny fans, nearly 1400. They've sold out completely. Um, could be interested well Carl know what sort of stick he gets and Brown will get stick <laughs> the other way but uh, I think it's going to be a, a good game um, I just think we're going to sneak it hopefully a last minute winner send us all in the Raptors going back over the uh, uh, Woodhead so we've made it inside Stockport County's brilliant stadium Edgley Park and just up them steps there is where I'm going to be for this match now Team Lionel's come out in about 20 minutes time so let's see if I was part of a similar team to the defeat up against Bradford City or some changes about the atmosphere. Let's go up and have a look. Uh, 2 1 loss or 2 1 win. Okay, that's what I went with to be fair. I reckon 2 uh, 1. We're going to win today. Two, I'm one. going 2 1, I'm yeah. going 2 0. 3 1, they're over! Yeah. 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 I took a draw all day long. 1 1, 0 0, 2 2, whatever it is. I took a draw. Yeah. So the lineups have been revealed for Stockport County against Doncaster Rovers. So we're going to go through the starting lineup and the bench in more detail. Let's start off with the starting 11. In goals, number one, Jonathan Mitchell. In the back three defensive line is going to be Tom Anderson in the centre, Oliver on the right, and Nelson on the left. In the wing back roles on the left and right side, respectively, is going to be Tommy Rowe and James Brown returning to Stockport County. In the midfield, Harrison Biggins and Charlie Lakin. So Ben Close on the bench. Cal Hurst and Luke Mulder operate the wings, and Cal Ann Lavery operates the solo striker. On the bench with Close and Miller is Todd Miller, Charlie Seaman, Aidan Barlow, Adam Long, and of course the bench goalkeeper Jake Oram. Overall, in terms of starting lineup, I think it's a pretty strong starting lineup, Lavery given an opportunity to start has been very nice indeed. Obviously Ben Close bench at the moment is obviously going to be very interesting indeed and it's going to be very interesting to see how Brown does against his former club on loan Stockport County. It's Stockport County versus Dodge Droves in Skybet League to action. Mean that badge to you. And we have kick off 
Can you it? Stop or break in here on the... Oh, no. No, ball in. Oh, fuck on. Stop or coming again. Oh, no. Ball in again from Stockport. On the other side. Stockport been threatening this first couple of minutes, so we've got to be wary of that for Stockport. Oh, very quick on the break. Still no nil though. It's like the chase, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we've got a halfway through. It's like the chase. They've gone down the middle, but uh, it's like the chase, isn't it? It's like when you've got the higher off or the lower off or you stay in the middle. They've gone down the middle. They've not they've gone one step closer or away from the chase. So. So we're playing it safe down the middle, but Stockport here recovering it there. But uh, Lavery, oh, I don't think there's a lot of contact on that from this distance, but uh, free kick anyway, still no no. Just the first few minutes and the chance for Stockport counted there, a double effort by Johnny Mitchell to keep it out. Uh, but again, Stockport really threatening so far in this uh, opening few minutes. It's really looking like Stockport's going to lose in this first few minutes. Whether that changes throughout the course of the rest of the half is unclear at this time. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty strong. It's like if Stockport was a storm and we were a ghost town, they were just they're just cleaning through us at the minute, they're just wiping out devastation in its path. So still no no first few minutes, but Stockport looking very threatening. They've got the ball back again here. Good through ball on the right hand side, but they just can't keep it in. So still no no, but they're looking very very threatening. So we had a very crunching challenge for the Rovers player uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Um, and then we came forward with a good chance to head it on, but it was called back for a foul anyway. So we're getting forward a little bit, but not as much as we should be doing. So Stockport still have the control in this game so far. It's going to just see that control maintained throughout the rest of the half. So in the back end there, causing the Stockport fans, the Stockport fans by the way, have been excellent so far today. Big call there, free kick into the Rovers. Stockport are not happy about that. But again, like we said, rotating on that left wing back roll today against his old club. Ball in, back post. What's up? So here's a Stockport County corner, ball inside, and it's going to clear. It's going to be a chance to play the back. Not a great shot from Lavery, but uh, a good work chance is a good work chance. Get the job done. Have fun. Stockport trying to regain that control back again, but it's good to see us coming forward a little bit more than we were in the first few moments. But it's also going to keep that up, keep it consistent. Oh, a big call there. Stockport fans not happy with that. That's a bad mistake there by Stockport, and now Doug Strome is coming on the break here. Hey! Ref took a tumble! Referee takes a tumble like Mr. Tumble, and that really was something special. Again, the Rovers, what's the one constant theme for the last three weeks, even four weeks? Stray passes going nowhere, again. We're passing to King Boo, we're passing to Luigi's Mansion, all the ghosts. From there, now. How can you devise any consistency when you're giving away a straight pass is one of the basics of football. Never mind tactics or formations, the basics of football. At the moment, these passes are going absolutely nowhere. They're going to they're going to the ghost. The passing needs to be seriously improved in this half. So we have here half time at Edgley Park. Stop Paul County nil, Don Strover's nil. If you want to be brutally honest, we should be two or three nil down by now. Um, I think we had a couple of minutes of control halfway through, but didn't really do a lot with it. Uh, I think Stockport's had the majority of the ball. I think Stockport's done the majority with the uh, chances that they've had. They've not managed to put anything away. I think that's been Stockport's main weakness today, is not putting anything away. But they've absolutely been the better team today. We've been completely off it for the majority of the half. Uh, nearly all the half, pretty much. Uh, we had the three minutes ahead of time. Nothing was really happening for the last 10, 15 minutes or so. So, uh, so yeah, it's going to be a very interesting second half to see what happens. But. Overall, like I said, I think we're getting beat way too easily in the midfield battles. I think we're giving away straight passes too much. Um, you know, four or five weeks in a row now that we're giving too many passes to the opposition so easily. The basic fundamentals of football, and we're giving them away too easily. It's like if you babysit a cat, you know, you don't you don't feed it a skeleton of a fish. You, you, you feed them the fish fingers, you know. It, it's, it's one of those weird ones where... You know, we've, we've actually done well to keep it nil-nil. Like I said, we need to change something for the second half, bring something into it, maybe take one of the midfielders out, bring in a new striker, go a bit more forward, go a bit more threatening. Creed Lens has been bouncing, the Stockport fans have been great, but uh, Stockport County nil, Dogs Drovers nil, at half time. Uh, let's just see what we do in the second half, but I've got not 
really a lot of confidence for the second half. But call on the Reds. Mean that badge to you. So since we are at the halftime mark here at Edgley Park, let's give you those halftime tables from Leagues 1 and 2 and see where we stand at this moment. Sheffield Wednesday hold a three-point lead at the top of League 1 with a game in hand as Plymouth hold to second place by three points. Ipswich not too far behind with Derby, Bolton and Barnsley making the playoffs. Wickham four points away and still not out of the woods yet. Peterborough are still within a chance as well as Shrewsbury. Forest Green remain at the foot of League 1 and destined for League 2 next season again. Cambridge, MK Dons and Atkinson Stanley make up the rest of the relegation spots. Morecambe ahead of the relegation zone on goal difference once again. Cheltenham and Burton not completely out of the woods yet with Oxford being drawn into it after the sacking of their manager Cal Robinson. Leighton Orient sit at the top of the table by 13 points and are destined for League One football with Catalan and Stevenage taking second and third respectively. Stevenage has a game in hand and two in hand on Orient. Northampton, Stockport, Bradford and Salford make the playoffs with Mansfield, Barrow and Sutton just on the outside. Dunster Rovers are still in 13th place, four points ahead of Warsaw who have a game in hand. Wimbledon are not too far away either, as well as Crewe and Newport. In the relegation zone, Rochdale and Crawley make up the bottom two, with Hartlepool now four points outside of the drop zone, but Crawley have three games in hand on both Hartlepool and Rochdale, so Rochdale could be in possible value of cutting adrift of the rest and heading for National League football next season. And straight away in this second half, if it wasn't for a fantastic Jonathan Mitchell save again, it would have been 1 0. Stop up, we're coming through, but again, the wrong decision. Go on! Oh, again! Again! Oh, come on! Do it! Do it! Really big chance there to come forward. Ending shot from Callan Lavery. Blocked by the Stockport player. Probably the closest we've come in the whole game. I think the header in the first half was the best chance we came in that half. And that was straight the goalkeeper with no worries whatsoever. I would probably say that's our best chance so far in this game. Um, but again, blocked by the Stockport player. So no real effort for the goalkeeper. Didn't really challenge him as much. So. You right! Come on, the lads. R-O-B-E-S-S, the Rovers, the Rovers. So let's give you the final standings at the end of this weekend's fixture, starting with League One, going into League Two final standings by the end of this weekend. Are we that happy to get the draw? Yes. Do we deserve the draw? No. Uh, I think Stockport deserved three points today, but at the end of the day, Stockport didn't take their chances, so... I think Stockport will be kicking themselves and didn't finish the job. We'd be the happy we took a draw out of a bad performance. And uh, at the end of the day, that's just how the cookie crumbles. So thank you very much, guys, for watching today's video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now.